Jolt is a is a, is a new um, zkVM, uh, which is a way for a prover to prove that it correctly ran a computer program. Uh, what does a computer program do uh, when expressed in a virtual machine abstraction? That's what VM stands for. It repeatedly runs the fetch, decode, execute cycle of a CPU. So effectively, what Jolt is, is a snark for the prover to prove that it correctly ran fetch, decode, execute over and over and over and over and over again. And the CPU that Jolt uses is something called the RISC-V CPU, which is a, a CPU developed from the computer architecture community, um, which other projects like, like RISC-Zero um, have, have also targeted uh, using a, a, a CPU from, uh, you know, a pre-existing CPU has many, many important benefits. Jolt matters because ZKVMs uh, are, have, have massive benefits for developer friendliness. You know, so like people don't have to know anything about SNARKs or circuits or constraint systems to invoke the, the SNARK. Um, you know, benefits for formal verification. Um, it, you know, pushes, you know, if, if you write a new computer program for a cryptographic application, um, you know, if the, if the ZKVM has, has been fully verified as, you know, no bugs in the implementation, well, now the only formal verification you have to do for your new computer program is just verify that the computer program itself is correct. And if the developer writes that computer program in Rust, well, we should have very good tools to verify Rust programs. Um, so it sort of pushes any new formal verification work just into verifying Rust programs rather than verifying circuits or constraints or something nasty like that, which is the way, you know, what we would have to do with uh, today's SNARKs typically. So that's the importance of ZKVMs in general. And Jolt is essentially just a more performative um, ZKVM implementation, the prover's faster. And on top of the prover being faster, it's much, much easier if, if developers want to alter the VM so add instructions to the instruction set or something of the of the CPU. It's much easier to do that. Um, you know, it's it still requires expertise and it's it's dangerous. Um, but it's not as complicated as writing a circuit or a constraint system for the new instructions. Um, you basically specify the way um, the new instruction gets decomposed. You know, to apply it to a big input, you break the you have to be able to break the big input up into chunks. And um, you know, process each chunk separately and glue the results together. So you just uh, describe that decomposition and recomposition procedure um, to add new instructions to the the VM um, that Jolt gets applied to. So that's why Jolt is important. I think it's very clear that you know ZKVMs for existing. Um, instruction sets that were not designed by the SNARK community is a very powerful thing, um, just in terms of developer experience and tooling and usability, because the, the you know, a, a programmer can just write a, a Rust program that, you know, takes as input a purported witness and checks it's correct, you know, that it, uh, your bunch of digital signatures authorizing blockchain transactions verifies the signatures or something like that. Um, there's existing, you know, compilers that will turn that Rust program into RISC-V code and that is exactly what gets ingested by something like Jolt. And um, a project called Risk Zero deserves uh, an extraordinary amount of credit for for recognizing a lot of these benefits. Um, that you know they they were the first snark for for Risk Five. Um, the benefits of Jolt over something like Risk Zero, and now there's a there's another um, zkVM for Risk Five called SP One, uh, largely lie in performance. It's just, it's just faster uh, because it uses these uh, like the subject protocol in a way that um, just makes the prover faster, and you know with uh, further uh, improvements still to come. Um, and you know it's also you know easier to sort of add more instruction to the instruction set and things like that with Jolt because of the way we did everything with uh, with lookups, uh, you know what what's called lookup arguments. Um, so the the view is that these ZKVMs um, are the way to sort of democratize ZK, you know, so so people can use ZK, uh, use snarks. Um, without knowing anything whatsoever about like what is how a snark works, they don't have to learn a new programming language, much less you know constraint systems and circuits and awful things like that. Um, the 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 endless problem with zkVMs is is performance. It's just you know for all of that usability, you pay an extraordinary price in terms of prover performance. And so I think that um, Jolt is better today. You know, sort of somewhat modestly better than the existing zkVMs. But I think there's a there's a lot more to come. 
And I think that that will cause DKVMs to cross the threshold where while you do pay an enormous performance price, I think it'll be low enough that a lot of applications, it's okay. And then in, uh, you know, you combine them with the right pre-compiles that have all been carefully formally verified for correctness and, you know, you'll bring in even more applications and so on. So that's, that's the view of, of Jolt. Uh, again, we're, we're sort of building on the vision of, uh, of other, you know, we're not the first ZKVM for risk five, but I think that's an incredibly powerful thing, um, in general.